I just realized I was not even recording. I mean, I was just going through this whole little thing. Anyways, I guess I was just talking to myself. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Q or Teach Clean Q, whatever you want to call me. But I'm back to share something really exciting with you guys um, because I've been getting a lot of messages that I didn't know I was getting. And, you know, from people asking me like, hey, Q, uh, can you help me with some tips on how to pass my teacher exam? Like, you know, what did you do? Help me with this. And y'all, honestly, I've struggled this, with this for a long time. My intention for this channel is to help new teachers and, you know, just people that look like me or whatever, just to help teachers in general. And that was my goal, but I have decided that I don't want to be an influencer because I feel like that takes up a lot of time and me actually being a teacher, working in the classroom, I can't give that personalized, like, help and I'll help in any way I can but it's been so long since I've actually taken one of those tests actually I took one last year but it's been so long since I was in college and I did all that stuff so it's just hard for me but I'm here to share my strategies for passing the test because even though the tests will always change the way that you can prepare for them will pretty much be the same so what I did was I took all of the things that I told you guys in my previous videos on how to pass the Texas exams and I put them into a book. So I created this resource at the beginning of this year. Um, <clears throat> and remember, this is a tool. It's not something that is a cheat code. It's a tool. So it's something that can help you if you put in the work, it can help you pass the test. But you have to put in that work. So what I did was I created a study journal for the test. This is basically a place for you to track your study habits. Um, that way you understand what you're missing and then you can take notes. So this is what the physical copy looks like. So um, y'all, I was so afraid to do this. This is actually the second version of the book which is so funny because I'm like, I thought the first one was good, but whatever. So um, this is actually the physical copy of the book. Um, pretty simple. I try to keep it real simple because I'm like, it's my first baby and you know how that stuff goes. So it's just, it's the Texas study journal and it says pass the Texas exam the first time. So real simple. There's nothing on the back because I don't know if you need a blurb for a journal, but anyways, once you open up the book, the first thing you'll see in there is a table of contents. So it just tells you what's in the book and then there's helpful information like how you can find out all the information about your test. And that is one of the big questions I always get like, hey, can you help me study for my test? So the problem that I have with that is I may not have taken your test and the requirements for your test are maybe completely different for the test that I took and studied for. So it's up to you to go and do the work. This page right here will kind of walk you through the steps you need to take to um, find out information about your test. So this is one thing in the book. Um, the next thing I put in there was like some testing tips, which these are all pretty much common knowledge. You can almost pretty much find these online, but these are some tips that I also feel helped me when I was studying for the test and also taking the tips. I mean, taking the test. So um, I put this in here and yeah, just do what you may. Then I put like a, um, I put like some calendars, some undated calendars so that you can um, schedule your study time. So, you know, you can say like, oh, on the 5th of June, I'm gonna read this domain of my, um, of my test and you know study and then on Wednesday the 8th or whatever day went on that day then I'm going to take some practice exams and then on Friday I'm gonna take another practice exam you know just whatever you need to do to track your or to plan your studying and then 
I show you how to use the journal. Really simple, just follow the steps. And then down here, I showed some examples of how to assess your actual study, like your practice exams. This is like, <clears throat> I showed it in part three of my series, but maybe this will help out a little bit more. So I broke this up into like different, different exams. So I give you enough space to practice for uh, six exams, I believe. Yeah, six, six, six exams. So all of this information from here on out is the same. It's just a journal. So this is where you will go to the website where you um, register for your exam and you write down all the information you need to know. So this is like the test number, where you're taking it, when they'll report it back to you, how much it costs, how many minutes you get, how many questions are in that particular section. And then you can start actually taking notes on the parts of the test that you're studying. So, you know, you can write down the domain, the competency, the date, and you can take as many notes as you want to. So I try to put like 20 pages for notes. And then I did about the same for the practice test. And I know every test is different, but I try to give a hundred questions for each practice exam. And then I put a place where you to mark the date the um like the attempt or the test number the number of questions you got correct and the total number and then your percentage and remember we're always looking for a um 240. i wanted to get back on here and show you guys the digital version of the actual book so it's available on etsy for purchase and it's ten dollars five or anyways it's available on etsy check the link down below if you want it if you're a digital planner girl like me, you might enjoy this a lot better because this will last forever and ever and you don't have to carry it with you. All of the actual tabs are linked. So if you touch one of the tabs, it will turn to a new page and everything that you have in the actual physical book is available on your tablet. So. I use this with, with good notes, but you are welcome to use it with any kind of journaling app that you prefer, but just know it was made for good notes. So the benefits of having it in a digital version versus, versus the physical version is that if you want to make extra pages, you know, maybe you're studying more than six pages, then, I mean, you're studying more than six, six exams, the benefit of this is that you can make extra copies of those note pages, the planner pages, the um, practice test um, tracking pages. You can make copies of those and have more versus just having the six that are available in the physical copy. So I'm not, I can't tell you which one to buy, but it's up to you. If you like pen and paper, this right here is your friend. If you like you know, having it digitally and having it everywhere you go, this is your friend. You choose, okay? It's all up to you. If you're interested, you can just check the link down in the description to access it. I think it's really helpful. Um, but again, remember, you have to do the work yourself. It's not something that I can come and say, um, you know, do this and then this will work. It, you kind of have to tailor it to yourself. I can't say you need to study for four weeks. I can't say you need to study for one week or two. It's all like a personalized thing that you have to figure out for yourself. So anyways, thank you for watching my video. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down here on YouTube because if you send me something on Instagram, which a lot of people have been doing that I didn't even realize, if you send me something on Instagram and I'm not following you, it doesn't send me the message. So leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in my next video. Woo!